year. Guess what's happened since 2008? Guess what's happened? We've doubled the number of troops in Afghanistan. Three times as many U.S. casualties, that is, killed. Five times as many casualties wounded. And go up to, uh, to Walter Reed if you want to see what that's all about. Uh, we need to spread some truth around and end this violence. You know, you look around in, uh, in the 21st century here, and uh, although I see hundreds of prophets here in front of me, uh, well-heeled ones, well-respected well ones that get media attention are very few and far between. That's why we are so fortunate that Dale, Dan Ellsberg uh, slopped over from the 20th century into the 21st century and is still with us. But I'd like to say a word about prophets. There's one that uh, really uh, dwarfs all the others in, in our history, and that is Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., who said in this context, what, we're our, what our mission really is. He said, a boil, a boil can never be healed as long as it's hidden. It must be opened to the natural healing of air and light. It must be punctured with all its pus flowing ugliness to that light and to that air before the, the disease, the injustice can be healed. He went on to say, injustice is just like that. Injustice and war must be exposed with all the tension that the exposing creates to the light of human conscience and to the air of public opinion before it can be healed. That's what we're about here today. We're going to expose this. We're going to tell the president he's got to stop these foolish wars. It's a march of folly into Afghanistan as it was into Iraq, as it was into Vietnam, and so forth. Last thing here is from another prophet, Dan, El Dan, Dan Ellsberg and Dan Berrigan. Okay, Dan Berrigan happens to be a favorite of mine, and he challenged all of us, and I think most of us fit this, uh, this label. He says, you know, those who say, let us have peace, often tack on, but let us risk nothing. Let our lives stand intact. Uh, let us know neither prison, nor ill repute, nor ridicule from friends, nor disruption of ties. There, will no, there is no peace, says Berrigan, because the making of peace is just as costly as the making of war. At least is liable to bring disgrace and prison. And so, when we hear George W. Bush selling his book, uh, speaking disdainfully of activists. Well, being an activist is the dues we pay for democracy. And if we don't do activism, democracy is out the door. And so we accept our responsibility here. Uh, we're going to do all we can to stop the violence being perpetrated in our name. And so if the making of peace means prison, that's where you're going to find us. Thank you. Hey.